today's topic is going to be extremely controversial and I'm really excited to get into it because I have some pretty strong opinions about it and I really want to know what you guys think about it. Are you truly a car person if you don't drive a stick shift? Are you a true car enthusiast if you drive an automatic? Are you not rated cool if you don't drive a stick shift? Those are the questions that every new car person asks themselves until they're able to figure out their like own identity, their own like place in the car culture. I mean, I remember this question like really like getting, getting underneath my skin and I was like, oh, I don't drive stick shift. I don't want all my car friends to know they're gonna think I'm lame or they're gonna think I'm a phony. Hey, hey, this guy's a phony. But honestly, I'm just gonna say this. Just because you don't drive a stick shift doesn't mean you don't love cars just as much as the next guy. Although I guarantee that in some like areas, some like car communities, it most certainly must feel that way. You see, our car culture like has this like unidentified ranking system, right? And like the number one spot on that list is if you don't drive a stick shift, you're not cool. Like, like you're like in grade school, right? And everybody is using the, the new like, like Taganoga pencil, the really like sparkly one. But you're not using that. You're you're using some some cheap one that you got from Walmart. That's not Tarragonda or Tarragonda. How do you know what the pencil I'm talking about? I don't, you know what I'm talking about. And from that, you feel like the outsider. You feel like you're not cool, but yet you're, you're having just as good enough time as everybody else is with those pencils. And you're just not using that kind of pencil because you you don't you don't want that Tarragonda pencil. You know, you know what I mean? A super common question I always get is, should I drive a stick shift or an automatic? I'm getting my first car, I don't know what to get. Everybody says driving stick is a bitch in traffic. I go through a lot of traffic. I don't know if I should get that or not, but yet I wanna be like a car enthusiast. I wanna feel like I'm a car guy, what should I do? Honestly, with the way technology is now, automatics like aren't like bad. I mean, assuming that you know you have like the, a paddle shifter. Or, I mean, we're talking we're talking in the era of sports cars here. So, for example, the BRZ it comes in a manual transmission, comes in automatic transmission. All the automatic transmissions have paddle shifters that are actually proving to be pretty damn good for not being a double a, a dual clutch transmission. They're really good. So, I mean, in that aspect, automatic transmissions aren't as bad as they used to be. So, this whole like click of like, oh, I'm not driving an automatic. Like, or, or like, oh, I'm driving an automatic, I'm not a car guy. It's kind of like disappearing, or at least it is in, it is in my mind. I personally think that driving an, a manual transmission car is more engaging, it is more fun, uh, it 100% gives you more control of the car. That is 100%, I 100% think that, 100% agree with that. But before, okay, so before I had this car, I had a BMW that was automatic. It had paddle shifters, so I had that like kind of sporty feel, but I got the automatic because I was too scared. Holy shit, that's bright. I got it automatic because I, did, I was too scared to have a chance. Like, honestly, I was intimidated by a manual transmission. I didn't really know how it worked. I was always scared that I'll, I'll, I'll like fuck up or something and I'll like miss shift and blow my engine up. Like, I was really scared. And no one really made a video about this. So I hope this is gonna help. Like, it's not a scary thing to do. Yes, for the first like week, it can be kind of difficult learning how to drive stick and all that good stuff, but once you get it, it's literally second nature and it's actually like riding a bike like everybody says it is. I know everybody says that, but they say that because it's true. I've never like misshifted in another gear. I was braking, like I was always scared like it's too much to do and it's not. I'll be the first one to tell you, stick shift is easy. The one thing that I would, that like, if you don't want to drive a stick shift, like the one thing that I, I could see you not wanting it is because you drive in a lot of traffic. And I'm not talking about the like daily, like you sit in 20 minutes of traffic kind of traffic. No, I mean, you're in, you're in New York City and you're, you're bum fuck stuck and you, you're not going anywhere. Or you live in Hollywood and it's just ridiculous. I drive in about a half hour traffic every day going to school and yes, when I'm sitting in that and it's six o'clock in the morning and my eyes are barely open I'm like <laughs> I don't want to drive a stick because you're fucking you're always you know you're always doing it but you get over that the moment you put the car on a place that your car likes to be on you know that was a pretty dumb way to say that but it's what I'm trying to say it can be annoying in traffic and I can understand that I've driven in the shithole traffic that I was talking about earlier and it sucks yes it's not that fun 
but you get over it, especially when you know when you're driving the car and the way in the again when you're driving the car and the spots that your car likes to be driven in. It's really fun. You get a lot of control. It's a blast. So for that aspect, yes, I, I you know if you really don't want to have to do the extra work, if you really don't want to put the extra effort in, six shift may miss may not be for you. But for automatic, don't see it as such like a negative thing. Like oh, I don't want to get this car because it comes in automatic, or I don't want someone to know I drive an automatic. I'm less of a car person. I mean, if it has like a, a, a uh, the paddle shifter option, it, I mean, it, I 100% can see it to be, you know, someone to view it just as fun as a manual transmission car. Now, again, that's referring to if it has paddle shifters or something like that. If it's just a normal automatic car, then it's gonna be just like any other car, you know, yeah. Think of it this way. If automatic transmissions were so like bad and like they were looked at as such a negative portion in the car world, have we noticed that like every Lamborghini, every new Ferrari, those are all automatic transmissions. And, 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 and I know you're saying, no, TJ, they're not. They, they, have, they, they only use paddle shifters. You can only control it. Nope. That is, that is not true. Four, five, eights, the Aventador, the Uricon, those all have an automatic mode. And you can only use the paddle shifting modes if you take it out of the automatic mode. Um, so automatic isn't, I mean, there, there's a huge like title above automatic that says like, I'm a weenie, I belong in Weenie Hut Jr. Or I belong in Super Weenie Hut Jr. I mean, that's not true. Technology is kind of, I mean, technology has shown that, you know, manual transmissions, especially in the higher end exotics are pretty much non-existent now. I mean, maybe you can get them a special order. To, I don't know. I obviously don't have one. I don't really know. Um, if you want to know more about that stuff, go to Dr. Anthony's channel. Here's a little selfless link to his channel. Thought I'd throw that in there. He, he knows all about that stuff. You guys know who he is. Automatic Automatic transmissions, you know, if traffic is a bitch and you really hate it, then get an automatic transmission. If not, go with manual. Words from my own mouth. TJ Hunt, quote it. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It, it's it because a lot of people ask this question and it's hard to answer because everybody's a little different. Everybody has different circumstances in which they drive in. So. If I was to decide for you, I would say get a manual transmission because it's, I, I think it's just that much more fun. You feel that much connected. I don't know, but I do want to know what you think. Let me know your views on it and tell me, do you drive an automatic or a stick shift? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Be sure to comment it. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Motivation is contagious. Hang out with those who inspire you and strive not to be like them, but only a better version of yourself. You will learn that there is a difference between alone and lonely. Life isn't always easy, but that's the beauty. You will learn how to be truly happy, and as much as you don't want Today's topic is going to be extremely controversial, and I'm really excited to get into this because I have some pretty strong opinions. I can't see and I'm gonna have to deal with that because I chose to go this way, so just bear with me. <laughs> Automatic transmissions. Alright, seriously.